It all starts with a sketch. I use my iPad Pro to sketch out my idea. And I start with a very basic sketch, nothing complicated. As you can see, things get uh, slowly put together over time. Sometimes the first time you create something, it doesn't turn out quite the way you want it to and the way you visualize it, but that's where you can take time to delete it, start over. Um, I had to change the positioning of one of the characters, Samantha, who's on the left several times because I just wasn't happy with how it looked but I did find that after a while, I was able to match the idea that I had with my vision that I had in my mind and therefore make something that really, I thought stood out and contradicted the character on the right. So to start, I take a pencil and I draw out the letters. I have to center those letters. Then I draw the characters out individually by copying what I originally drew in my Procreate program. As you can see, it's a process because you have to paint in all of the colors. I use acrylic paint and just a simple paintbrush, changing the size of the paintbrush per the project. Now you can see I'm rolling it out and it's uh, turned out so much better than I thought it would. Originally, I thought it was going to be much more difficult. Well, it did take a lot of time. Things just came together over time. So I was very happy with how it turned out. A lot of people ask where creativity comes from. And I think there's no direct answer to that, but at least for me, it starts in my mind. I have a vision in my mind that I want to achieve. And then the hard part is figuring out how to make that happen in reality. So taking a paintbrush, for example, and making it look like a comic instead of buying a banner online, which I know I could have done, but I wanted to make something more tangible that would mean something down the line. So I really only used three different things, a pencil, paint, and a paintbrush. I did make the canvas uh, myself using an artist grade canvas so that I could paint onto the canvas. You can see that I stitched those lines um, and I did do this with a regular sewing machine but it was not an easy process, let me tell you, just to get the sewing machine to go straight with such a heavy piece of fabric. So I recommended that if you try to make your own banner, just be prepared to have a heavy duty needle for your sewing machine. I think the thing that I love the most about comics in general and drawing is the ability to take your imagination and expand upon it in a tangible way to make things stand out, to make things feel more real, even though they're just one dimensional characters. To me, over time, they've become like friends. They stick together through thin, thick and thin and they have a place in my heart. And when I draw, I try to bring out the joy that I feel for my characters and for just the art in itself, the, the fun of comics is the sheer magnitude of possibilities that exist with them. I did create um, gussets um, with the canvas to help hold the banner up in the end. And you can see um, that I had a lot of detail in here. Like, for example, I put a lot of sparkle into the tights. 
where I put it on top of the main color. I used a lot of color and layered everything so that it would have more dimension. And then I used the white to create some depth and like a real face would have more than one color. And so I like to take those elements even to something like the canvas and put as much effort into it as I would any other piece of art. I also added the whiskers to Jelene's jeans. And I also added some nice coloring to her shirt. And I like the way her spiked hair turned out quite a bit. Overall, I was extremely happy with the way things turned out. That J was extremely difficult to paint. And I also love this hand for some reason. It just makes me happy to look at it. I did try to add the depth just like I would with anything else. And it was a lot of fun trying to get depth out of very little color. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of my banner. And thank you so much for being here.